Before you begin, please verify that your SmartLink software and base map library are up to date. To update, follow instructions in the SmartLink tuning manual located under the help command in the SmartLink toolbar. With the ThunderMax with AutoTune already installed on your motorcycle, you are ready to work with the SmartLink software. Begin by plugging the supplied communication cable from your PC to your ThunderMax ECM. This is what the SmartLink software looks like on your PC. You will use this software to select a base map that best matches your motorcycle, load the base map to your SmartLink software, then upload or write the base map to your ThunderMax. To select a base map for your ThunderMax ECM, you will base the selection on the following key elements. Engine size, throttle body and injector, exhaust style. If your bike has modifications beyond simple air cleaner and exhaust changes, review your map options further. This particular motorcycle has the following key elements. Stock 96 inch motor, two into one style exhaust. The base map library is located within the SmartLink software and can be found by clicking on EFI maps in the main toolbar, then EFI map listings and definitions. The base map definitions window will appear as shown here. Click the clear filters button to show all maps. By scrolling through the base map definitions window, you will discover a large assortment of base maps. SmartLink has an integrated filtering system to help you find the right base map for your motorcycle. To begin filtering the base map options, you can sort the base maps by clicking on a window header. Engine type is a good place to start, and by clicking it, SmartLink has placed all of the maps in numeric order based on the engine size. Scroll down until you find the 96 inch maps. Move your mouse pointer over the engine size desired and right click. SmartLink software has now filtered all of the maps. All of the 96 inch base maps listed are for twin cam A and B motors and all of the throttle selections are identical. Because there are no further options by family or throttle, we will move on to the exhaust column and sort by exhaust style. When selecting a base map for the ThunderMax system, it is important to focus on the exhaust style rather than the manufacturer's brand name. For example, I have highlighted the 2 into 1 D and D Fat Cat Pipe. If you had any other brand 2 into 1 style exhaust, this map would be ideal for your application. The next option is for Vance and Hines Big Shots, which are a 2 to 2 style pipe, then stock pipes, and a true dual option down here at the bottom of the list. In this particular case, our Road King has a 2 into 1 style pipe, so we will click that option and right click it, allowing SmartLink to filter all of the base map options that do not fit our selection. Click on the scroll bar at the bottom of the window and drag it to the right. You will see the other columns in the base map definitions window. Next, we will look at the cam column and the available options. There are three maps with stock cams and one listed with an aftermarket cam. For this application, we will right click on the stock cam option and filter the maps again. Finally, scroll all the way to the right of the base map definitions window to look at the date column which allows you to see when the map was created or last updated. When possible, select the newest map listed. Select the map by double clicking it. The base map name encoding window will appear after you have selected your map. If the elements of your selection look good, click the load base map button. This will load the selected map into your SmartLink software. Click on the module configuration option tree, which is located on the left hand side of your screen under the tuning maps tab. Click on basic settings and the basic settings window will appear. Here you can verify your speedometer calibration settings, then select the SpeedoCal button. The SpeedoCal window will appear with a table of calibration numbers and applications. Always verify the year and model of your motorcycle. Because the current SpeedoCal setting matches the application description in the calibration table, we don't need to change it. If you have made a change, click OK. If not, click Cancel to move on to the next window. The other basic settings shown reflect optimum settings developed during this base map's creation and need no modifications at this time. You are now finished with the basic settings window, so click on the close button to return to the SmartLink software main page. You are ready to write the base map to the ThunderMax ECM. Writing the base map to the ThunderMax ECM is very straightforward. First, click the handlebar switch to the on position, then turn on the ignition switch for your bike. 
Go to Map Editing in the main SmartLink toolbar and click on Write Module Maps and Settings. SmartLink will automatically link to the ThunderMax ECM. A warning window will appear telling you that any information currently stored in the ECM will be destroyed. You do wish to continue, so click Yes and the map writing process will begin. The Transferring Data window will appear in your SmartLink software. This window shows that the base map you selected is now being written to your ThunderMax ECM. Writing the base map only takes a few moments. Once it has completed, the progress bar closes automatically. Next, click the Map Editing command and clear Learned Fuel Adjustments, then clear Learned Idle Control Adjustments. Lastly, verify that the module's newly loaded map ID, located at the lower right, matches the SmartLink map identification located on the Active Map window. If it does not match, start over at the beginning. With the ThunderMax base map written to the module, the system is ready to be initialized. The initialization process is performed by verifying that the handlebar switch is in the run position, then cycling the ignition switch on your motorcycle three times, with 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. It is very important to make sure that all power is cycled through the motorcycle each time the ignition switch is turned on and off. If you have accessories such as radios and aftermarket electronics on your motorcycle that stay on after the power is turned off, make sure all of the electronics have turned off completely. The initialization process synchronizes the home position of the idle air control motor and throttle position sensor to the ThunderMax ECM. This process must be performed before starting the bike for the first time during a new installation or any time battery power is interrupted on the motorcycle, such as when installing a new battery or when the bike is serviced. The final step in setting up the ThunderMax EFI system is to run IAC Auto. IAC Auto is a function of the ThunderMax software that automatically adjusts warm-up settings which can vary slightly from bike to bike. This process optimizes the warm-up maps and settings and should be performed on a cold engine. First, start your motorcycle and allow it to run for 10 to 15 seconds. The idle should be smooth and steady. If it is not smooth and steady, repeat the initialization process. If it is, turn off your bike and turn your attention to the SmartLink software. Next to the green link button is the red monitor button. Click the monitor button which will also turn green. The gauges in your SmartLink software will become live. With your SmartLink software linked to the ThunderMax ECM and your gauges live, allow your motorcycle to run and stabilize for 20 to 30 seconds. After the engine has stabilized, you are ready to begin IAC Auto. Click the red IAC Auto button located in your SmartLink software. The IAC Auto calibration window will appear. This window will ask you if you wish to continue with the IAC Auto Calibration. Click Yes to continue. As you watch the process in the SmartLink software, watch the live gauges on your screen. You can actually see the ThunderMax system adjust the front and rear cylinder numbers according to the air-fuel ratio targets established by the base map. If you watch the IAC Stop versus Engine Temperature window, you can see SmartLink adjusting map points to allow your motorcycle to run more efficiently. Allow IAC Auto to perform until your engine has reached the target temperature and until IAC Auto stops automatically. The IAC Auto Calibration Completed window will appear, telling you that the process is complete and that all the learned adjustments have been written to the module. Click OK to acknowledge the changes and IAC Auto is complete. You may turn off your motorcycle's engine, but keep the ignition switch turned to the on position. Your ThunderMax installation and setup is complete. To unlink from the ThunderMax ECM in your SmartLink software, simply click on the monitor button, then the link button. You may now turn off all power to your motorcycle by switching the ignition to the off position. It is important to do this before removing the communication cable from the ThunderMax ECM. If you have further questions, please visit us online at www.thunder-max.com.